Hello and welcome to um, tutorial uh, number four of the JavaScript series. My name is David Thorne, I'm from Thorne Web Design. Um, okay, so in the past tutorial um, we spoke about um, object oriented programming, um, what it's about, um, and how um, objects inherit properties from um, their parent objects, and they obviously give um, their child objects then other properties and so on. Um, if you haven't watched it and you don't know about it, then just pop back and watch tutorial number three. Okay, now this one we're going to kind of extend off a little bit about this inheriting information and then having other different types because we talked about loosely, uh, loosely typed objects or loosely typed um, language. Now, what does this mean? Types? Do we type text on the keyboard? No, it doesn't mean that. Um, Okay, so let's go over here and we'll explain it. Okay, first of all, there's um, a few types, data types, which are in JavaScript. Now, I'm just going to go over um, a couple of them first of all, which I deem um, to be relevant. All right, but potentially there there are no data types in JavaScript because there's just um, one type, or there's actually two types. There's var, and let's say um, var name. Okay, and there's also then the likes of var name one. Okay, so potentially what we're saying is, that, hey, this is this is the variable types. Okay, it's th the fact that their values actually have a type of data. Okay, so whereas in other languages, in um, in strongly typed, you would then have to declare which type it is that you're going to have. So we're going to say like int, um, which is for integer, which we'll talk about in a minute. So we'll say num1 equals whoops, equals 1. Okay, and then we can say um, char um, letter equals a uh, and so on. So we can, um, we're basically, and we're getting a whole bunch of errors here because the JavaScript's loosely typed. Um, so basically what we're doing here is we're declaring um, in other languages such as C um, and and also C Sharp, C++ and, and Java um, we're declaring which type it is. Now um, an integer is a whole number, a char is a single letter okay and actually potentially just a little bit of background a char is actually potentially an number as well okay because you have ASCII um, codes and every single um, letter in the alphabet has then an equivalent number um, which then goes to hexadecimal which then goes to binary and stuff so potentially although a char is actually supposed to be a character it potentially actually is a, a number as well so um, but let's not worry about that for now Okay, that's more uh, nothing to do with JavaScript really, but you have to worry about. But actually, in one element of JavaScript, it's going to be important when it comes down to um, hitting keys. But let's not get um, let's not move away from it. Okay, so which data types um, um, do we have? So what we have is um, integer, integer. When I spell it correctly, um, we have a string. Okay, and we have array. Okay, there are other ones which we actually want to have as well. There's boolean, and I don't want to talk about too many because uh, it's then just going to confuse um, some things as well. So let's just um, concentrate first of all on integer, shall we? Okay, let's just pop that down even more. An integer. What is this? This is a whole number. Okay, it's a whole number such as one such as 12, such as 123, such as minus 123, and this number goes up to, God knows, it's a massive number. And it's, if you know anything about binary, then it's, it's um, 2 to the power of 31. That's what, what the number would be, um, that it would go up to. Actually, it's 2 to, two to the power of 31, divided by 2 so um, which would actually give you because there's half the amount of numbers on a negative side as there is positive side which would then give a complete amount of numbers 
don't worry about it all right there's an integer is a whole number and unless you're going to use a number that is probably I think about that size which I doubt it um, then you can start worrying about whether um, it can store all of those numbers an integer okay for clarity is a whole number not a decimal okay not got commas in it or anything like that it's a whole number it only has digits it only has digits fr from 0 through to 9 okay in it and it can also have um, a minus or a plus before it not that you can ever use a plus before it but it has a minus or a plus before it it cannot have any decimals in it cannot have any commas in it it is purely a whole number be it negative or positive it's a whole number okay now in other languages you'll see ints um, displayed in blue like that um, but just as int that would in indicate that it's an integer okay now you also then have um, string which a string is actually um, of another type it's a collection of, of other types which we're not going to move into because it's not really um, worried about that much with inside of JavaScript but a string is a, a literal con oh, it's a it's actually a constant a literal string of characters okay so in other words you are saying hey whatever's with inside of quotes okay be it single quotes or double quotes this is just a string just a, a sentence just some information of just characters regardless of what they are just just interpret them translate them as characters nothing else no code and no nothing else just want characters okay so that's a string um, but there's a couple of rulings to how you can uh, make a string which items you can stick um, with inside of the string um, but we can talk about that later but potentially if you're just using the normal um, normal symbols normal letters with inside of the alphabet and numbers then you're not going to have a problem okay you can use commas you can use brackets and all sorts of stuff okay this is a string okay the next the next one which we're going to talk about okay is boolean now boolean only has two values okay there's only only two possible values which boolean can have okay and that potentially is either one or zero okay uh, yes or no and yes or no true or false okay and that's basically it okay now I know that by writing yes or no and yes or no but there's some functions that will recognize um, these wordings but we're going to remove them for now now the the two most important ones which you need to recognize here are um, one for uh, true and zero for false okay this is called boolean uh, this nothing more than binary okay basically saying um, well if something is yes then just use one or use true okay if something is false or no then just use the word false or zero so if something um, you see in cars you see zero and one um, for the air vents when you put it on one air comes out when you put it on zero no air comes out and some light switches have one and zero. Computers at the back of them have one and zero. One says voltage. Zero says no voltage. Or one actually says high voltage. Zero actually says low voltage. Um, so that's all it means. There's only two two possible answers for Boolean. Is either true or false. There's no other no other types of answers. It's not a three or a four. Okay, it's just is something true or false. Okay, so it's a way of us working out. Hey, did this work? Yes or no? Okay, is this number more than um, this other number? Yes or no? Okay, is this number equal to this um, this other number? Yes or no? Okay, is it raining outside right now? Yes or no? So that's boolean. Now, array, array is a collection of items. Okay, so for example, on a bookshelf you have um, let's say 15 books 
Now there's no way that you can um, remember what uh, each book title and author and so on that they are is but what you can do is you can just say well I have a whole bunch of books on the shelf and someone says well how many books do you have on the shelf? I say well oh, like 15 books well what's the titles of them? well an array just collect holds a collection when you say I have you know a shelf full of books that's a collection full of books and you can place things uh, into an array to keep a collection so it holds it in one item you just have to carry around round one item to say have a collection of books um, the, the fact where those books are is irrelevant you're just saying I have a collection of books and if someone says can you give me the first book out of that collection of books you'll just take the one at the top of the pile so it's basically that's what an array is it's a collection of items now an array is a complete tutorial in itself of how to use them um, but this is this is really um, this is really what what I, it is that I want to talk about um, there are there are some other um, data types and I'm actually just just quickly having a look which ones I actually want to mention to you right now um, because I don't want to really um, confuse anything yeah, okay well you've already seen yeah okay that's fine um, we've already talked about objects okay this is a, a data type now because it's an object orientated programming languages a language sorry um, pretty much everything is an object anyway um, an integer okay is actually potentially okay a child object a child object of objects okay array a child object of objects and then we've got string child object of object and then we've got boolean is a child object of object once again so as you can see object is pretty much the be all and end all of all objects um, with inside of javascript um, it's just the fact that these are child objects of objects and they inherit whatever object has um, so if you ever talk about any data type you always know they're of type objects okay but it's just they're more specifically of type integer or array string a boolean now there's another um, data type which is also important is one called null okay now null has absolutely no value okay it doesn't have a value of zero or one okay it can be displayed sometimes as zero but don't get um, confused by this null means it has no value whatsoever alright so you can't set something um, saying oh it's just empty or whatever null means nothing absolutely zero it's an empty box of no value whatsoever okay and this can be uh, written just like that and as you can see it lights up blue in this because that's basically saying that um, JavaScript recognizes this as a um, reserved keyword. Alright, that's another thing which we need to talk about. Reserved keywords of stuff, that, uh, words that you can't use. They're already reserved by the language of JavaScript, saying, "Hey, we got this has got a reason and a purpose um, for having." Now, there's also one other one which is undefined. Okay, now if something's undefined, um, then basically it can't be null it's just hey we don't know where it is we don't know what it is what is it you are talking about basically so the in when your JavaScript file gets interpreted it might see a piece of code and it says I have no idea where that is I don't even know what you're talking about right so it's going to say it's undefined okay so if you ever say um, well hey, I tell you what if something is undefined then let's define it basically uh, that's what undefined is. If it can't be found and, it, and it, it's not there, then it must be undefined. It can't be null because only something which is there can be null. Therefore, undefined is it just doesn't exist. Okay, so that's pretty much all the data types um, so far. So just a quick uh, recap. Let's just write them in the, the form that you will see them normally. In array, bool is a short way of writing um, boolean, and you you're more likely to see it written bool than it is um, boolean okay string you might see that in um, with a capital S or a lowercase s okay just out of interest for you char as well um, 
uh, what else have we got? Then we've got null, and then we also got then undefined. Okay, so these are all the um, types. Now, when you move into other languages such as C and C++, PHP, um, there are other, uh, not PHP so much, um, um, and C sharp, you see lots and lots of different types, data types. Okay, um, but the pr the the prime uh, ones which you can see are, are pretty much um, listed here. Uh, okay, um, there are there are shorter versions of integer and long. Oh, sorry, and then we have got floats. All right, Com completely forgot about this. Float is basically an integer, but it can handle any decimals. Now it has to have a decimal. So if you give it, if you tell float that is uh, a whole number of one it'll just stick a um, point uh, zero at the end of it okay or it will use zeros with a decimal on it it is any type of decimal that there is um, okay it can um, be a negative or a um, positive um, decimal but it's decimals that's that's basically what it is it's a decimal now I could talk a little bit further on this but then it would complicate things with floats and integers but as far as we're concerned is a float is a decimal, an integer is a whole number, okay. An array is a collection of items, say like, uh, let's say, a collection of name, uh, John, David, Steve, Terry, and so on. It's a collection of, of things, all right. So this is a collection of names or a collection of people's na uh, people's names, okay. Boolean is either zero or one, okay. Uh, true or false and so on string is a literal string of items or of characters and stuff literal string of uh, characters okay a char is literally just one character itself null is nothing I can't write anything and undefined basically means hey it does not exist um, that's it all right um, don't confuse yourself too much by it because it's not totally important arrays and integers and boolean actually they're all important yeah I can't say that um, they're all completely important learn them all right learn the parrot fashion okay sit down and learn them learn what they are and what they do but or just let me tell you and teach you okay um, that's it for now I've taken up nearly 20 minutes of your time uh, my name's David Thorne. I really appreciate your time. I hope you've learned something. Okay, it's a tough one, data types, because I haven't actually taught you how to do anything yet. But I need to tell you about data types first of all, um, and then we can move from there. Okay, next tutorial we'll talk about variables. Um, you've seen variables used um, in the previous tutorials, um, but we'll talk about them um, in depth in the next one. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening, day, morning, whatever it is right now. Goodbye.